Welcome to Tuesdays with Teaching and Learning. Today we're in Ms. Fleeman's AP Chemistry class, is that correct? At Jackson County Comprehensive High School. And we're bringing you another remarkable experience for Jackson County Schools. Ms. Fleeman, tell us a little bit what we're going to see today. So our AP Chemistry students are working on a self-driven lab to determine what salt would make the most effective and most economical cold pack for injuries. Okay, great. Okay, come with us and we're going to talk to some of these students. Okay, tell us a little bit what you're doing today. Oh, currently we're trying to experiment with different salts to determine which salt is the most economical for a cold pack. A cold pack is just something that you put on wounds to freeze it off or to cool it down so it reduces the muscle spasms. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're testing how long they would last related to uh, like how much they cost. So. Okay, what kind of equipment are you using? Well, we got a scale here. We got a, what is this thing called again? It's a lab quest. Lab quest. Collects data, really. We got the salt. We have a graduate, graduate cylinder. cylinder. And are you using certain probes, or yes, which, which probe are you using? So, uh, you're using this temperature probe to then map the data onto a graph over time, and then we're going to compare the data between each salt and see which one is most effective. Which chemical is that? This is what's your cap? NH4 and O3. Start. So drop about five degrees Celsius. Yeah. Okay. And that was. All right. I know this is a self-directed lab, so your dat lab is probably a little bit different than some of the others. What are you doing in your lab? Um, we're trying to find the temperatures of salts dissolved in water. Yes. And right now we are on NH4Cl. Okay. And what are you using? What type of um, equipment? We're um, using a temperature probe, which is this, lab quest. Yeah. the lab quest, and coffee cups as a counter. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, for this particular lab, I gave them a question that they were going to have to answer. Uh, gave them a day in class with their groups to come up with what materials they were going to be using. Gave them a guided list. Um, this lab actually does come from the argument driven inquiry book. And so they were given the materials, they were given a question to answer, and then they were given the day to come up with a procedure. What data did they want to analyze, and in what way were they going to analyze it to solve the problem? Yeah. 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 Oh, no, no. Okay. Um, right. So now we just rinse it out again. Yeah. And just repeat everything. Okay. Okay, can we move this now? Or? Okay, which chemical are you using? Well, currently we're using uh, Na2, Na2S203. We're testing for it. Sodium thiosulfate. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I know the other ones, he knows that one. <laughs> But currently, we are a bit surprised as we expected the salt to be uh, endothermic in the reaction, but it turns out to be exothermic. So, well, that's a surprise to us because we didn't expect it to, to turn out like this. We expected every single salt to make the water cooler, and this made it warmer. Yeah, beauty of science, I guess. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
You don't think make well it's not really at the meniscus. So maybe we should add Thank you, Ms. Fleming, for sharing your classroom with us today. Thank you for coming. There's a lot of exciting things going on. And stay tuned for next week's Tuesdays with Teaching and Learning for another Jackson County Remarkable Experience. Goodbye.